Right, hello and welcome back. So today we're, uh, as I said in the last video, we're just going to do a bit of work on the quad again. We're just going back to the quad. So today we're just going to um, do a little work, bit of work getting the uh, OSD set up. Um, this OSD is a new kind of OSD, I think. Uh, it's a new version. Basically the problem with this is that on the camera side, uh, you can only run it at 12 volts so what I'm going to do is I found some information on the internet that allows you to run it five, at 5 volts so um, I'm just going to modify this first so basically what we're going to do is going to take 5 volts from the 5 volt pin on the APM side connect it to the bottom left of this inductor then we're going to remove this little diode on the far right hand side and then also just bring a ground across from the ground pin over to the ground pin on this side. There's uh, some pictures on the internet, but I'm just going to take some pictures of mine after it's done and just show you what I've actually done. So, uh, and the next thing as well is we're going to obviously, we're going to have to interrupt the video signal here. So we're going to cut this wire and then we're going to put some uh, servo connectors onto it so that we can connect straight onto the, onto the pins pins here uh, and keep it all nice and neat no no messing about so let's go on with the job it's just a little bit of a problem with the camera and mounting it to the quad as you can see if you were to mount the camera directly to the plate you couldn't do it this way around because the camera body's in the way so you'd have to cut a little bit of the corner out of the circle the other way around you would have to actually you'd still have a bit of a gap because of the NTSC PAL switch which is just behind here so what I've decided to do is use a bit of air pipe 20 mil long and what I'm going to try to do now is just stick it is just put it in between these holes and glue it in place and see if we get that uh, if we can hold the camera off a bit so it's a bit protected so it's, it's sat, stepped back a bit from the end of the quad instead of having it sticking all the way out because in the event of a crash you might just smash it. So I'm just going to screw some little screws in that I've got. I think they're M2.5 by about 10 millimeters. And I'm going to try glue to it and the air pipe and we'll see we'll see what happens. So that's I think that's 4 millimeter OD air pipe. So we'll give it a go and I'll be right back. So as you can see here I've just screwed in the four uh, 2.5mm screws, they actually just screw in a bit so they fit quite well and hold themselves in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue one in and just see if it works and then if it works then I'll obviously glue the rest. So I've just got a bit of super glue here, I'm going to put a bit on one of the threads. So what the person on the internet did is they went from the back of the board, so the 5 volt pin is the second pin in from the bottom here. Basically what they did is went from the back of the board and came through one of these in-circuit in programming headers and went to the, to the top right of the inductor. So I don't really want to come through here because obviously that means that I won't be able to put any pins in to actually program the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from the bottom side of this little switch here, the reset switch, which I've checked continuity and it's a dead short between 5 volts and this pin so I'm just going to bring a little bit of wire around here, connect onto here and remove this uh, this diode and then just bring another, I'm going to look for another ground uh, and bring it straight across here this, this top left of the in-circuit programmer is also 5 volt dead short but again I don't want to use that so that's what I'm going to do, so we'll see how it goes. So I've just uh, cut a bit of wire off here, I'm just going to tin the end first. Got quite a fine tip on the solder now because it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze to get this in.
So now I'm just going to remove the little diode. Obviously keep that for, if, if we go, ever go back to 12 volts we can change the system back. Just going to do a little check here. I'm just going to put a ground wire on the other side from the ground here to the ground here. So that's it. Um, That's it all soldered up. Uh, to be honest, I would just make sure that if you bought an OSD, it was one that you could just easily select the 5 volts and 12 volts um, just with a little jumper. Obviously, you have to mess about like this. But that's it done. Uh, we'll um, now put some servo connectors onto the camera and we'll uh, get it powered up. So back to the camera now, I don't think if anyone noticed but I put that on the wrong way around, I actually put them on this way around when they should have been this way around but I just had to get them off, get that one off and it was well stuck on so I'm quite happy with that so I'm just going to put four more, uh, the other, put them all back on now but just glue them all this time so. That's all far fitted now, so what I just want to do is just confirm the orientation of the camera and I'm sure that this pointed to the top before, uh, but I just want to make sure, obviously. So I'm just going to connect it up to the screen and just give it a go. Right. Before I test that, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm put this connector on the quad for the power and I'm just going to put the opposite connector on. Uh, just so it's easy to disconnect and, di and reconnect if I ever want to move it through to a different aircraft. I'm just going to put them on now. I'm just going to bear off a bit of wire. I think I'm going to fire up the soldering iron and just solder it as well because it's pretty small wires these. Position the wire just inside these first two tabs, and then the next set of tabs you actually clamp the wire down, the the bed wire down. I'm just going to put a bit of solder in there just to help it. And just fold over the last set of tabs. So there we have for the other one. The way I do these connectors is if obviously I've got the red wire and the black wire on this side so I'll just connect it in and then when you push it in you make sure that you get the wires the correct way around there you go so now this will this is just going to get soldered onto the quad onto one of the one of the motor ESC uh, power supply points because this can handle I think it's 6 to 28 volts so that'll be fine just to come straight off the ESC power distribution point so I'm just going to take apart the quad and I'm just going to decide where I'm going to fit everything and then I'm going to cut this camera wire to whichever length I need and then I'm going to 
put on some servo connectors. So I'll be right back. So I just had a little problem with the uh, OSD. I had to change the RX and TX lines over because they were put in incorrectly at the uh, manufacturer. But it all seems to be sorted now so I'll just give you a quick uh, show of what we can see when we plug everything in. Before here it would just say waiting for a uh, Mavlink heartbeat. So if you get that just give it a go and cross over the uh, the two wires and you should be okay. So as you can see you've got altitude, elevation, direction arrow to home, battery voltage information, number of satellites, uh, what mode you're in and obviously longitude and latitude. They're all out of position a bit. I've just tried to adjust the zoom but that doesn't seem to improve anything so what I'm going to do is I've just bought off the uh, internet is a little uh, USB converter so that you can rewrite the software in the chip and actually move some of these things around so I think I'll display that on the next video um, also on the OSD I just I, in the end I had to go from the 5 volt input to the top of the inductor because I couldn't really get a good solder on the top of the switch and that seems to all work in excellent so I went from the 5 volts to the top right of the inductor and then just underneath the board went from the ground to ground and also removed the diode and that made everything work fine so then the uh, the video transmitter gives 5 volts to the camera through the actual OSD because the positive pins are just connected together so that's it all up and working I'll uh, show you another video when I um, get do the edits to the layout of the OSD and probably take some of the stuff off that I don't want so as you can see I'm just finished up the camera mount uh, basically the e the e sheens name tag and the little uh, screw for holding the lens in place needs to be on the side, the same side with the single tab then the double tab goes to the bottom so this is looking pretty good now so you can just pull it apart you can see that they all just fit in nicely so now I'm just going to glue it up, you just want to have a look and make sure that you've got the camera as square as possible to this face so obviously you're looking at you're not looking at an angle uh, when you're actually flying in a straight line so I'm just going to glue this up now and then put it on the quad and I'll just insert a picture into the uh, video of what it looks like so here's the video transmitter I uh, changed the cable uh, the power connector just to have the correct connector on um, also on here uh, I just put some servo connectors to make it easier to remove and take off so on on this particular camera the yellow is video the blue is ground and the white is the 5 volts so you just connect them to get connect them all to one connector and you just simply plug it in so that's to the camera obviously the other end goes to the video transmitter I'll uh, fit it all onto the quad and I'll just show a picture of how it's all mounted I've got some thin 3M tape that I used for on, on another project. I'm just going to stick a small piece on each of these and just mount it onto the quad. So I'll show you that when I've finished. So here's a quick look at the finished item. This was a really fiddly build I found, so I didn't bother uh, actually videoing it all. So I'll just show you the end results, so obviously. On the outside it looks totally stock still which I wanted to keep it as clean looking as possible. On the inside you can see how I've mounted everything so I've just got the minimum OSD behind the camera, power supply plug coming off the front right motor, wires tie wrapped around here and then the transmitter is under the arm so it's protected hopefully as well as possible with a little clover leaf on and there's my finished camera mount as well so that's it finally finished just need to attach the top plate give it a fly 
and see what how it goes. And then in the next video, I'm going to be uh, repro reprogramming the OSD just to move some of the items and probably reduce the amount as well because I don't think I need all them. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you later.